What's going on everybody? It's Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be going over my exact position in AMC stock. Okay, why I have not sold a single share and why I am still insanely bullish on the future over the next few months of this stock, guys. So stick around. You're not going to want to miss this. For those of you that are new to the channel, consider leaving a thumbs up, hit and subscribe to join the family. If you're interested in joining our private community, we have almost 300 members. We talk stocks all day long. I also share my entire portfolio with everyone over there and also give you know my advice on where I think the market is going to be going and what plays to watch out for. So if you're interested, check it out, guys. It's the first link in the description. First off, guys, I've never really showed this before. I've told you guys that I did have a good size stake in AMC, but it shows right up here the current price is 1326. This is of 1149 just a few minutes ago. Okay, and I have over 3,500 shares that I continue to hold and I have not sold yet i do not plan on selling guys and we're going to go over exactly why I, I i'm continuing to hold why i'm still bullish on it and why i'm even beyond what the potential is going to be guys okay so first off as i'm going to switch this over i want to talk about exactly what is going on today right now the market is in a bit of a pullback just because of the fed's two-day meeting they don't know exactly what jerome powell is going to say where is our interest rates going to be going over the over the short term over the long term we know they're going to rise but over the short term where they're going to go what's the talk about inflation so what are the expectations already where we're at so far almost through the first quarter of 2021 as well as the rising bond deals rising treasury yields as well guys that that is a big looming you know talk of what's going on every time the fed has you know their meetings investors get really scared they tend to pull out of the market okay and then depending on what gets said depending on their outlook their attitude whether they can confirm that they're backing the investors okay or they're going to be you know focused on you know other other parts of their agenda is really what investors are always looking for so one thing i am going to point out to you guys is this stock right here it's ticker vix this is something that i always invest in going into the fed meeting okay what the vix is is it's the volatility index and it deals with the price swings because one thing is for certain normally this is how it kind of starts off is the day starts off as it's pretty flat line it might be a little bit low this is ahead of the meeting once these talks come out either stocks are going to sell off hard or they're going to rise up really high so this volatility index is a really good way to hedge against your positions whether you're adding it to your portfolio or you're buying a call option okay i always like to let you know since the, gr the group started i always like it, you know our private discord I always like to let them know, guys, this is a great play to have going into these into these meetings. So I'm giving you that heads up now that it's, you know, it's a little bit probably too late to get into it because of the by the time I'm going to be posting this video, guys. But so let's get into exactly why I am still bullish on AMC. So first thing I want to point out, OK, is that Robinhood still has this stock as I believe this is as of March 1st. It was number three of the most held stock. I believe it transferred over to the number one held stock on Robinhood, which means individuals are still buying and holding, okay? The stimulus, we talked about this, I talked about this a long time ago, saying that when the third stimulus was gonna come out, there's a lot of individuals that do need this money for help, they do need to pay necessities, rent, and so forth, but then you've got other individuals where their savings accounts have more money in it than they ever did before, and this is going by statistics, and money was gonna find its way over into the stock market, let alone all of us that are bulls on AMC would be able to find it. Well, look at this, guys, 90 million direct payments have already hit bank accounts i've talked to individuals that i know and they've already received it in their bank account and it has cleared as of today by the time that money can transfer over is pretty quick and more shares are going to be purchased of the stimulus okay so that's one good news guys also we talk about the rising vaccines and the rise of amc theaters continuing to open up which is absolutely awesome but beyond what the revenue is going to be of amc because they do say at that three billion valuation it's valued at a little bit it's overvalued because based on their revenue and so and, and what their profit margin is or so forth but Look at this. I always point this chart out. I've mentioned it to you guys many times. I'm sure you know this. It's every day it is up up here and has insanely high amount of options volume and it's still bullish. It's it's on that two to one, three to one ratio of call to put, which is bullish. It's a bullish sign, okay, which is why I am continuing to hold this and I will continue to hold this for, for the future. I have no plans of selling this whatsoever. All right. I also want to point out, okay, this is the DTCC ruling that talks about um, basically the, the change 
in the supplemental liquidity deposits are required. Okay. And rather than going on an, act, uh, uh, I'm sorry, rather than going on a monthly options expiration activity, it's going to be changed to the day to day. That is going to help with any bit of synthetic shares, the short selling, the over, the naked shorting and so forth, which is going to help anybody that is holding AMC because we know that it's been shorted like crazy. And it's also going to prevent the hedge funds in the future, their ability and their capability to overshort these heavily, you know, these stocks that are already suffering. Okay. Because that's exactly what they've done. They saw the pandemic hit. They saw the retail already, already start to pull back. And these theaters had to close down and many other retails as well. And they hit it hard. That's going to prevent that from happening in the future, which is going to change how shorting is played. Shorting is a very crucial part of the market and it is needed in order for checks and balances to all even out. But this whole naked shorting and the, and the synthetic short is being made is definitely going to clear this up which is good news it's only going to help us okay i also want to point out lastly why i'm bullish i'm going to use whether you use you know or text whether you use the weeble desktop app i'm just looking at this right now under yahoo finance finance.yahoo.com because everybody has access to it is the current options status okay march 19th which is coming up this friday which is also known as quadruple witching quadruple witching if you are new to investing okay there is a lot of volume on that day whether stocks get driven up high, get get sold off, whether they stay even because there's an, an, uh, an even amount of buying and selling pressure, it cannot be answered right now before we go into that, okay? However, increased volume is a guarantee of what happens on every quadruple witching. I've been through them. There's four of them for years. I, four of them every year. I've been through them for many, many years, and I've seen a huge increase in volumes in all stocks, not just what we're focused on. Considering there are a large amount of options expiring on the 19th, it was one of the highest. It was one of the, the it was one of the expiration dates that had the highest amount of volume, um, options volume going into it for a long period of time, <clears throat> even back into February. But you look at all of these calls that are in the money, that that $14 is really, really crucial if we can close over that $14 special calls expiring in the money. And then same thing as, as you look at the puts that are out of the money, okay, that crucial point is going to be that 1350 okay, if we can close over 1350 that is a lot of contracts expiring. And people continue to buy these contracts, okay? So whether the company might not be bullish from a financial standpoint as of right now, whether they're still running at restrictions and so forth, there's so much activity and buying power behind this stock that wh why would I even consider selling closely as of now? If you look at where my portfolio was February 1st, this is by far the best performing stock in my portfolio. February 1st, it was at that six and change. I believe it was, what was it? February 12th, it closed at 559. And since then, I mean, it's it's gone up already 100, say 140, 150%. So, and it's continuing to rise. Yesterday was a red day. Let's just take a look at the charts. Yesterday was a red day. It came back, I think it came back about a buck. Um, but then today is green again. I expect it to close green. You never really see two days red in a row with AMC. Okay, and many individuals are buying the dip. Um, and now as you're seeing kind of like a new a new uh, support forming around that 1250 range, which is great. I told you about that insanely strong 550 support. It, I switched it over to about $10 support. And now it seems like that 1250 is reigning to be support. So guys, I do want to let you know that I'm not just making these videos to talk about um, you know, stocks that are popular right now, but I am fully in this with you. I invested in this with you. I will continue to hold. And anybody that would like to join the private community, we would love to have you. We're growing. It's still a small community where it's, you know, where we get to build close relationships. I also give you a bunch of my stock advice, um, as well as, you know, options and plays that I'm taking in my full portfolio is over there. But more importantly, you know, we kind of just get to, you know, really have each other's backs on our celebrate our wins and also there for us to protect the losses because when the market starts to pull back, obviously, when you have to see that portfolio going down 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 times get a little bit crazy and so it's nice just to have that support around you so if you're interested guys first link in the description and i'll see you in the next one